Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I have a, another history book haul um, for today. This is a, a Russian history book haul of, of some new titles that I have added to my library over the last couple of weeks or so. I've sort of been uh, stacking them all up, waiting to do one video instead of a whole bunch of shorter videos. Um, so I will show um, all of those that I have been adding to my library in this video today. Um, so I sort of had them stacked out in a couple different um, uh, stacks here. Uh, the first um, are all books by uh, W. Bruce Lincoln, who is who was in uh, basically the, uh, an, an American leading expert on Russia. He was also a distinguished research professor of his of Russian history at uh, Northern Illinois University, uh, and he wrote. Um, a vast list of books far beyond what I what I have here. I have three of his books here, um, but I thought I would go ahead and show those. Uh, so the first is called Sunlight at Midnight, St. Petersburg and the Rise of Modern Russia, um, really analyzing uh, the history of St. Petersburg, starting, of course, with its, uh, with its founding under Peter the Great, and then sort of its, um, its uh, span as Russia's door to the West. Uh, door to, to 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 Europe and really a, such a cultural, such a city of such cultural importance um, in Russian history. So I'm really excited to get into this one. Uh, next uh, by W. Bruce Lincoln is his work on the Romanovs, titled The Romanovs, uh, with a, this quite intricate, complicated um, cover here. The same the same motif is employed on the back there. But I'm really excited to get into this one. Obviously, this is a this is a real doorstopper here. Um, big thick thing, but but that I mean, that's absolutely fantastic. So I'm really excited to get into this one. Um, and then last but not least for um, my Lincoln books here is In War's Dark Shadow, The Russians Before the Great War. Um, sorry about the, the glare there. Uh, so really um, just three really fascinating uh, titles by him there, uh, which I'm really uh, excited to get into. Uh, the next is um, A People's Tragedy, The Russian Revolution, 1891 to 1924. This is by Orlando Figes. I, I hope I'm saying his, his last name correctly. I, 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 I struggle all the time uh, trying to um, say it correctly. I don't know if it's Figes or if it's Figs. I'm going to go with Figes. Um, I have um, Orlando Figes' Uh, book uh, Natasha's Dance um, on uh, on my shelf, and I wanted to to add uh, to my uh, to my collection of his works. And um, I'm hoping to get to this one before the end of the year. I'll I'll, I'll have to see how that goes, but uh, that that is a plan. Uh, next is a bit of a shorter work and a, a bit of a more um, um, less on the academic side of of the. Uh, um, of the scale, and that is Molotov's Magic Lantern, Travels in Russian History by Rachel Polonsky. And uh, that, that is um, magic. There was a sticker that I, I pulled off um, without thinking about it and ripped off. Uh, ripped off the cover. I forgot to sort of rub it down with rubbing alcohol before I ripped it off. So it, it took the cover with it. Um, but this is a really interesting book. Essentially, uh, Rachel Polinsky is a journalist, and this is a book documenting her experience of working through the books in the personal collection of, uh, of Molotov and other elite uh, Soviet figures. Uh, she essentially found, uh, sh she was staying in, in, in a flat and found a room that was loaded with the personal collection of uh, Molotov's uh, library. And so she essentially worked her way through each title and uh, ties it into her narrative history uh, or, or through her uh, comprehensive history of, of Russia, so travels, uh, travels in Russian history, sort of through a uh, literary lens, which I'm really excited about. I picked this up at the library um, I believe it was a couple months ago, and um, I really loved it, and I, so I, I wanted to give it another read through um, now that I own it. Uh, next is a Simon Dixon biography of Catherine the Great, which I'm really eager to get into. The only Catherine the Great uh, biography that I have read uh, so far has been um, Robert K. Massey's um, biography of Catherine the Great. Um, I have uh, Virginia Rounding's biography of Catherine the Great and now um, 
adding to my collection, uh, this one by Simon Dixon. Uh, and then last but not least is uh, Trevor Royal's Crimea, The Great Crimean War, 1854 to 1856. Uh, I have read um, only one other book on the Crimea and on the Crimean War, uh, and so I'm really eager to get into this one, and, and I'm sure I'll be talking about all of these titles uh, more uh, in future videos. So that is that is the last of it for today's haul. Ad, um, just wanted to show a couple of these new titles that I have added to my library. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments you'd like to leave down below, please feel free to do so, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.